What is your verdict? Guilty. <laughs> Stacey Valancourt found guilty of manslaughter and child cruelty in the 2019 death of Harper Rose Breyer. It took the jurors only a few hours to come back with that verdict. I'm Brian Colloran. And I'm Alice Kang. The six-month-old died in the care of the former daycare provider in January of 2019. NBC5's Tyler Baronski was there as the verdict was read. He joins us now live outside the Rutland District of Family Courthouse now with more on what happened there today. Tyler. Brian House, day five of this trial saw Stacey Valancourt take the stand in her own defense, telling the jury that she didn't give any over-the-counter medicine that day that caused the baby's death. Now, the chief medical examiner determined that high levels of diphenhydramine, commonly found in over-the-counter medications like Benadryl, caused her death. Police searched Valancourt's daycare and never found any empty bottles of it. Harper's mother testified that they never gave their daughter over-the-counter medication. Valancourt said today the only thing she gave the baby girl was bottles of soy formula that Harper's parents had packed for her. But in the end, prosecutors were able to prove that whatever caused the baby's death happened in the care of Valancourt. Harper's family has shown an incredible amount of patience with this incredibly frustrating system. It is a tremendous relief that after all this time, they have the justice we can do here on earth. Now, as far as the next steps, the state's attorney expects post-trial motions from the defense. After that is resolved, they expect sentencing, but say that won't happen for at least a couple of months. Valancourt is currently being held without bail right now. And with manslaughter charges up to 15 years and child cruelty up to 10 years, Valancourt faces up to 25 years in prison. Now, we tried to talk to the defense attorney and Valancourt's family. They declined interviews. We also tried to talk to Harper Breyer's family as well and they didn't want to speak either. We're live in Rutland tonight. Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.